why rashes and spots come on body without any problem inside the body today i have a lot of body uh, questions okay okay today uh, today you guys want me to wear the hat of the doctor and explain it to you but i'm still going to explain it to you from the point of your brain and maybe the rashes and spots that you're talking about on the body uh, can you call that call them as allergies are you talking about allergies are you asking me the question about allergies then if you are asking me the question about the allergy i want to tell you something about how how your body and how your brain responds to your thoughts okay so basically allergies when you look at the allergies what do you feel sometimes you feel they are angry sometimes you feel disgusted sometimes you know there are there are like you know various emotions when you look at those itchy spots that come up on your skin now let me explain it to you little bit on very easy way how your body is functioning these spots or these uh, itchiness or this allergy is coming in your face because of your immunity uh, auto uh, this uh, this can be called as autoimmune problems and what is autoimmune your own immune system going against you so imagine there's a part of you which is actually pressing the accelerator and is a part of you pressing the brake a part of you feeling that everything is you know the road is clear and a part of you is feeling that oh no 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 this road is dangerous so your immunity is supposed to safeguard you from all the external threats right uh, like chemical uh, stress that comes to us that could be bacteria viruses fungal you know all those things that come to us our immunity is supposed to save us from all of that right but what's happening probably in your space is your immune system has started looking at a part of you as a threat as something which is uncomfortable as something which is foreign and that's why your own immune system is turning against you and fighting with you and that's where you start developing autoimmune disorders so basically there's a war going on inside you now all the autoimmune disorders are not because of the body issues they are because of the thought issues now what happens is if there's a constant negative thought that is going on in your space because of something happened in the past and maybe back then nothing happened to you back then you could take it very easily but that thought remained in your space and that continued to remain in your space that event still is there in your space it's like lying down somewhere in the in the deep it's very deep inside your subconscious mind and you didn't pay attention to it back then you know but suddenly now that is like a virus file and because you didn't pay attention to it now it's like staying there and it's kind of you know it's it's going on that there is a infestation going on there on that virus file and now suddenly it just erupted that hey look at me right now you got to look at me. now that infestation has because you ignored it and you were not aware of it that infestation has increased so much of that virus not a physical not a actual virus you mean to say you understand right how computer viruses i'm talking about the computer virus here not actual virus but but there is like a, there's a so much going on there inside that thought that is kind of going you know going on and on and on without you paying attention to it now suddenly what happened is that that thought became so big that it started occupying a full space in your brain without your knowledge and you don't even know where does it come from now that thought is carried from the mind mind is a software brain is a hardware from the mind that thought is carried through your nervous system the nervous system starts from your brain and it's all across your body right so the thought is travels through the nervous system into the body there's a neurotransmitter in your brain that releases the thought and there is a neuropeptide there is a chemical that's the neuro that's a messenger neuropeptide that's a chemical tracks that message and goes to the body part and there is a neuro receiver in that body part which is receiving that message it's like you know a parcel carried by a courier boy and getting delivered at the destination now the thought is converted into the nervous system through this neurotransmitter neurochemical and neuropeptide and it goes into the body and now the body receives the message now immediately there is nothing happening 
but in the imagine the message is going again and again and again and again right now what's happening is your nervous system is interacting with your immune system and your lymphatic system now as the message is going again and again to the immune system the immune system starts feeling that something is going wrong something is not right it, it this parcel is coming again and again i'm trying to deflect the parcel but it's not going this parcel is alien parcel is coming to me again and again this particular messenger that's there is my enemy so immune system starts feeling a part of you is now an enemy now there's a war going on now while the war going on what happens is two armies fighting against each other but here in fact the one army only fighting inside and there's a civil war going on so a few soldiers killing the civilians it starts killing your your good body cells because it starts looking at it as an alien as a foreign particle and because there's a war going on in the war whatever the death of the cell happens it accumulates in the blood and generally what happens is your lymphatic system there's another system in the body which is called as lymphatic system that drains this you know whatever the toxins we accumulate in the body on the day to day basis the lymphatic system drains it and throws it out of the system through sweat stools urine and menstrual period so it keeps draining it like that but what happens is unfortunately there's so much toxicity build up is happening because of this war going on at the larger scale now that your lymphatic system also fails to clean the sewage imagine the sewage work workers going on the strike and saying bahut kaam ho raha hai abhi hum nahi kaam karenge so what happens is the lymph lymphatic system also starts storing the toxins now as soon as the toxicity increases in the body it's a self sustained cycle it's going to give the message again to immune system that it's not working well the immune system going to give the message to nervous system that something is wrong the nervous system is going to produce a thought that something is wrong and it's a self sustained cycle you're going to feel something is wrong something is wrong something is wrong and you're kind of going on that space what's going to happen in your space is you're going to get all those allergies every time you see that immune system is suppressing it's dialing down you're going to experience cold cough and asthma and every time the immune system is dialing up it's getting hyperactive you're going to experience uh, the hives like those urticaria etc on the body your thyroid diabetes cardiovascular disorders uh, liver issues uh, intestinal problems like ibs etc uh, cancer thyroid all of these are the outcomes of your these three systems not functioning well and all of that starts with the thought of course every disease that you have has a different thought behind it and because that thought is getting triggered in your nervous system you are getting uh, you know the manifestation of the disease is happening because of that thought itself so if you start going back and working on the thoughts that are troubling you in this area you can actually eliminate all the autoimmune disorders and cure them and that's how a lot of my work has been in the last 25 years to work with autoimmune disorders and not just me there are many doctors across the world are doing this work and it really really is very uh, very gratifying the research is gratifying the results are gratifying and maybe if something this is bothering you again and again maybe you can work with an expert to work on these areas and really really deal with the psychosomatic symptoms psychosomatic itself is psycho is psychological that's thoughts and somatic is soma is your body so psych your thoughts impacting your body creates the problems there is a there is a scientist called dr robert adder and he's been doing a lot of research since 1970s and a new new science has emerged into this area which is called as psycho neuroimmunology so how your thoughts impact your nervous system and how your nervous system in, in impacts your immune system and not just immune system even your endocrine system so anything which is related to your endocrine system like diabetes thyroid or uh, 
PCOD, uh, cardiovascular disorders, migraines, they all pretty much could fall into the psycho neuroimmunology, endocrinology sector. And they all these are going through this triangle of the system. So Neetu, I hope I helped you. And uh, this was a, a very deep scientific explanation of it. I hope it helped all of you. And I hope it didn't go push bouncer. <laughs>